Hey guys, thank you for checking out my weekly review. This week we're going to uh, go over these purchases from Facebook and eBay. Um, before we get into them, I basically want to explain some things that I've run into. Um, being a, a, a new collector, I've been purchasing like and claiming quote unquote pictures basically you find on Facebook, someone posts a picture up you're like, oh my god, that's an amazing card. You claim it, you get the card, and then you're disappointed. Um, I, I, I'm running into that a lot. Um, and all I think I need to do is basically do more due diligence into these, these cards that I'm picking. Um, and I also think I need to basically not purchase these cards where I find maybe like soft edges or something like that. Just ignore all those cards. Um, and find the most perfect but um, I've been pulling the trigger too fast on some of these cards and now I've come to a realization that I shouldn't be doing that um, let's start off with these products and I want to show you uh, this card and well the first three cards I think in particular um, I know there's a top loader on this card but um, I saw this card I was like oh my god Andrew Wiggins I want a, a numbered patch uh, looks amazing um, He's on my fantasy team. I want to pick up an Andrew Wiggins card. This card looked relatively cheap on eBay. Uh, I thought nothing of it. But then you get it and close up. It's got some rough edges. Which is a bit disappointing. So that's one thing. There was also some scratches. I mean, it's not a top loader, so you can't tell. But there's like a scratch across Andrew Wiggins. Um, you can only see it in the light. Now, I'm not really into slabs but I think in the long term maybe down the road I do want to slab some cards so I think I need to basically purchase cards and do the due diligence and find out for sure if there's anything wrong with these cards now looking at this card here it looks pretty straightforward uh, a great looking card um, numbered uh, KD top 20 basketball players of all time um that's my opinion but um somebody i want to buy now you get close there's like a ding there i don't know if you can see it a tiny ding now i should have known i should have seen that should have checked the edges zoomed in but i feel i pulled the trigger i mean i bought this for like 20 bucks i'm pretty sure it's like 20. i uh, i think it's worth it but i don't know In the long run maybe not this card, I pulled the trigger on way too fast. It's Kobe, it's a base card. Um, I'm only, I'm loving the, the look of the base cards, um, but it's not centered, so that was disappointing. I wish I, I, I pulled the trigger. I was like, claim, I want to sell, sold whatever, whatever Facebook jargon you use when you buy a basketball card when someone uh, has a fire sale. And I'm like, oh shit, it's got short ended corners, you know, edges not centered so I love the card but yeah uh, I'm probably gonna sell that this Jordan pool looks great to me I couldn't find anything I think it was like dandruff or something in there another Kobe mm, looks pretty centered to me there's another Kobe base tops I, I love the look of the base man even though they're base I'm, 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 I'm collecting them because they're Kobe basically uh, any other player will really want to except LeBron, maybe. Uh, and rookies, of course. Um, Terrence Maxey, don't see anything wrong with that. This was given to me, actually, in a, in a purchase. Um, I love it. I love... I I think Darius Beasley is going to be a good play, basketball player. So... Uh, he sucks right now, though, but... Eventually, I have a, in time, he'll improve his game. Kobe Bryant dominance um and see anything wrong with this um pretty straightforward I mean, straight centered sorry another kobe stephen adams uh maybe this this side here is a little bit uh, shorter length than this one but steve nash was disappointing uh, i wish i did more uh 
I pulled the trigger on this one too fast for sure. It's not centered at all. The bottom is very short compared to the top. Um, I think the right side is wider than the left as well. But it's a great looking car. There's no white edges on it. Uh, look, yeah, I feel like that's it's not centered, which sucks. This card is pretty great shape. Um, I picked Bradley Beal, who's my second round pick in um, my fantasy team. So I'm happy with this purchase. The top loader is shit because they taped it with scotch tape, but um, I'll clean that up. But this had no scratches. Edges were all good, from what I can tell. I don't know. I, I think it's a great looking card. Rashawn Holmes, numbered, uh, Donruss, uh, top loader is a little dirty, but, uh, this card looks pretty, pretty centered and in good shape. Ron, I know it's the top finest, um, base, but it's a great looking card. Um, I, from what I can tell, it's centered. Hopefully, if not, let me know your opinions on Centering on that card. Dirk, rookie. Picked this up, uh, pretty good price. It doesn't have the plastic uh, wrapping on it, but uh, edges, everything looks good to me. Um, and I don't think there are any scratches on it. I would have to double check without the top loader on, but this is my final pick of the week. This is pretty beautiful card this up off of eBay uh, looks great to me there's no soft edges and uh, an auto numbered auto by the way so pretty happy with that purchase so those are my picks for this week um, let me know what you think let me know of your opinions on blemishes on cards and the effect uh, on the rating P PSA or BGC something. Let me know your thoughts on on that. So uh, yeah, comment on the on the video in in the comments, and uh, hope you have a good day. And thanks for watching.